Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'm going to show you how to make an animated sail in Blender. And this is not a boat tutorial, so I'm just going to make the mast and the sail. And I'm going to show you how to uh, control it. So let's get started. Now I want to start off by going to the top view, numpad 7, and then left click to add a 3D cursor. And the 3D cursor is the place where the object is going to spawn. So I'm going to add a cylinder. And I'm going to scale it down with S. Let's click S to scale. And scale it down to the size you want. And I'm going to go to uh, Y frame to see through it. And I'm going to grab it upwards, or G set, to grab it on the set axis. And you can scale it down a little bit more with S. And let's go to solid mode. And now I'm going to start editing the cylinder itself. So we're going to go to edit mode, and that way we can extrude on the set axis to make it uh, taller. So select the top face, go to face select, and to make it taller you can both click G, set, to grab it on the set axis, but you can also make a new face and click E, set, to extrude it on the set axis. So there are two different ways to do it. Now we have the masts, and if you want to make the whole mast thicker or thinner, you can always click A to select everything, and click S, Shift, Set, so that you only scale it on the X and the Y axis, so that you make it thinner. Now you can click G, Y to grab it on the Y axis to move it forward and backwards on the boats. And now I'm going to left click to add a 3D cursor to add a new cylinder, which is going to hold the flag. So add a new cylinder, and I'm going to rotate the cylinder. So click R Y 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, and click S to scale it down. Now I'm going to scale it on the X axis. So click S, X to scale it on the X axis to make it longer. Just make sure that the middle is uh, on the other cylinder. Okay, so now that the very basic mask we just made is done, we're going to start adding the sail itself. And we're going to use a plane to make the sail. And click R, X, 90, throw it at 90 degrees on the X axis and grab it on the set axis, G set and we're going to start scaling it to fit it on the uh, mast itself so click SX to scale it on the X axis and I'm also going to make it longer downwards I'm going to go to edit mode select the lower edge and grab it on the set axis, so G set to grab it on the set axis Okay, the next thing we are going to do is to click Ctrl R to add a loop cut. That way we can make the uh, sail a little bit more baggy. Click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And you might as well grab it on the Z axis as well if you want to. Just to give it a baggy effect. Because if, if it's completely flat, it's not going to be very baggy because it's not big enough when we make the sail simulator. You click A to select everything and click W to subdivide. And bump up the number of cuts to about 20. And now that we have all the subdivisions, we're going to select the um, pinning points that we're going to add to the sail simulator and these points while holding in shift to select are going to be the points that are going to stick when we have a plus simulator so that when we add wind those points are not going to move and you can also select uh, these verses by clicking C and select them that way instead of right clicking. 
Okay, now we have all the points we needed selected. So now we're going to add a vertex group. So go up here in the settings and add a new vertex group and click assign. And now we're going to add a class simulator. Go to the top and maybe you should go to the object mode first and then click cloth. And now we're going to add a pinning. And the pinning are the vertex groups. So the points that are going to stick when we add a simulator. So before we start baking, we should add in wind as well. And to add wind, you click Shift A and then click wind. Okay, so after you added wind, just make sure that the wind turns towards the sail. And then grab it a little bit away from it. And rotate it towards the sail again. And bump up the strength to about 400. And that should be enough. Okay, so now we have the sail, we have the wind. So now we're going to start calculating the simulation. And the way to do that is to go to the sail itself, select it. So right click to select and go to solid mode to see how it looks and now we're going to go down in the settings and click bake and now it's calculating and after it's done you go to the first frame and then click play as you can see now we have a uh, moving sail and after you have calculated, you can always go back and free the bake and change the settings. So if you're not happy about something in the simulator, you can always, for example, change the noise, change the strength, change the weight of the sail, and just make it look different. Give it a different look. So go back to the sail now. Now, to make it better looking, you can always click smooth, to make it smoother, and give it a nicer look. And now I'm going to add a new simulator with the new settings we just added. So go down to the settings and free the bake. So if you just scroll down free bake and bake again and after I've speed it up I go to the first frame and again we have the sail and now what I'm going to do is to start animating the boat itself so that the sail is following the boat and the way to do that is to start parenting the sail to the mast and the mast to the boat so first select the sail and then select the uh, mast and click control P and set parent to. And now click that one, select the main mast, control P, set parent to object. And do the same with the main mast, select the boat afterwards and click control P. Now the mouse and the sail is following the boats when we animate it. So I'm going to select the boats and click N to get up the coordinates and click I to keyframe. So I, I and I. Move forward in the timeline to uh, let's say the frame 250 and click G then Y to grab it on the y-axis and then click I, I, I and I again and if you go to the graph editor click T and click linear the animation will have the same speed at all times instead of speeding up and slowing down which looks often a lot better okay so free bake again and click bake 
Now it's going to calculate the animation with the boat moving. And as you can see, it works. Now I didn't add any um, ropes in this tutorial, but I think you can make that yourself. You can make if you can make a good boat, you can obviously make some ropes. There are a lot of tutorials out there on ropes, so you should be okay. Okay, so now I'm going to show you one more thing before the tutorial is over, and that is how to rotate the mast so that the sail rotates while the boat is moving. So I'm going to select the mast, go to frame 1, and I'm going to start keyframing the rotation of the mast. So go up here, click I, 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 and I. Move forward a few frames. I'm not going to move it or rotate it in the first frame, so I'm just going to have the same values. And now if I go to the um, one of the last frames, I'm going to rotate it R set on the set axis. Like this, so that I rotate it. And click I, 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 and I again keyframe the uh, coordinates and the rotation. And now we have a rotation in the mast, so now I'm going to select the sail again, click free bake and bake again. And after the calculation is done, we can see how it looks. As you see, the sail follows the rotation of the masts, so the animation is working. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, just go to my channel. I have a lot of tutorials. So thanks for watching.